in my point of view, is a, is a mix. It's very difficult. In the last 10, 10, 12 years, I can't really remember times in which I had no those kind of warriors. Yeah, so yeah. is it anything new? No. Uh, but what, so, what? but right now, yeah. right now, I think markets are too complacent about rate cuts, uh, and they are too complacent about the inflation being under control. If I just look at the latest developments uh, in uh, in in the Middle East, you know, the fact that uh, the rerouting of the shippings uh, uh, for goods creates a higher cost of thirty percent. Somebody has to explain me how this is not going to translate into higher inflation. Mm. So. And in a sense, I also doubt that central banks, particularly the Fed, will take the risk of cutting rates too early and then having to repair that. That yeah. would be catastrophic. I, I just, 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 I mean, the, the man who I loved speaking to every Davos was Axel Weber. And he said the medicine is killing the patient, the i.e. having too low interest rates. And, and you'll know Axel's rhetoric and where he came from on this one as well. But it appears the medicine hasn't necessarily killed the patient because we've gone up to higher rates as well and actually the world seems okay do you think actually we've still got the cumulative and lagged effects from the switch from free to easy money to now actually a, a decent price for the cost of capital do you think those effects are still to come yes because one of the characteristics of the last 10 years is that trends uh, last longer and it takes longer time to play out the, uh, the, the effects and therefore it's way too early and I, I'm very surprised about uh, even the, you know in some cases the, the, uh, the way the communications of central banks around uh, how they move uh, from one side to the other in, in, in my point of view this is really creating a lot uh, of uncertainty for investors and, uh, and I'm not so sure it's going to be very constructive so uh, so in a, in a sense, I see the complacency for uh, on 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 uh, monetary policy and rate cuts uh, not you know not well priced so, in, so in the you, market. Are you saying that the Fed shouldn't have? done its pivot in December. You're saying it should have held off and waited a little bit before communicating to the market around rate cuts? Uh, I think they created a lot of expectations that uh, if they are not able to deliver, uh, can turn into unwanted volatility and not good quality volatility. You know, I like to put the, co the comparison of uh, volatility with cholesterol at my age, good cholesterol and bad cholesterol. You can take a there is, about that. There is bad volatility, right? A bad volatility environment, and then you know those kind of surprises wouldn't be good. So, what's the chance of a U.S. recession then? Because nobody is really rating that. Soft landing seems to be general consensus. Yeah, but general consensus is what we wish for. Yeah. So it's uh, it's uh, it's not necessarily one way uh, to plan. Now, uh, for us, what does it mean? You know, honestly, we are planning with uncertainty. We are focusing on our own agenda, which you know we can create a lot of value independently from these beta factors. And uh, and we we need to stay agile. So we we um, um, you know the, the name of the game is, is stay agile uh, in right. 2024. Speaking of remaining agile, let me squeeze in a quick AI question. Are you doing anything meaningful with AI this year? Meaningful is that uh, I think it's meaningful because I discuss with my colleagues. We have to stop to experiment, and we need to now implement and make it part of the day-to-day -day journey. Right, so because we have a lot of experiments, a lot of uh, good ideas, but they are R and D. So now we need to phase it in and, and make it part of uh, of uh, how we we can become not only more efficient but also more effective in the way we operate, particularly in, in the back end of uh, of of, uh, of our operations. So, Jim, we can leave it there. But um, you must like the job. You went back for a second stab at it. You enjoying it? I'm enjoying it, yes. Uh, I think that is a good mix between doing the right thing and also, in, you know, writing a new chapter and uh, for, for UBS and positioning UBS. You didn't like being out of the game, did you? <laughs>